Peace, guys. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal Dior, coming your way. You already know the Black Vegan Raw. So, this was day 98 of my fruit cleanse. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just do day 100. But I just kept craving all the way live cafe. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give in to my cravings. And I'm going to actually stop this fruit cleanse. Um, so, I made it to day 98. I was trying to see if I could make it to day 100. But, you know, unfortunately, I didn't. So, I had to get this uh lovely raw dish and it's not that much I'm gonna turn it it's not that much here's the uh, little dish i got it's two seaweeds and one kale and she always put that i guess onions and tomatoes on it and then that's her sauce usually the sauce come on it but i just asked to put the sauce on the side i don't really eat the sauce the red sauce is good i think the white sauce is a cashew sauce that i don't eat um, but with this, because I just came off of a detox, I'm not going to eat either sauces just because I don't really know what she put in them. Um, but it's the seaweed as well as the kale that I will eat. Um, and I'm going to just eat that and maybe the greens under it. But yeah, I was like, you know what? I really, really wanted this. So I gave in after day 98, I gave in and it's okay because I went over 90 days of my fruit cleanse. I, I'm so happy about it. So um, I'm going to wrap this up and then I'm going to basically let you guys know the ins and outs of it. All right. Peace, guys. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal Dior, coming your way. You already know the Black Vegan Roll. So I wanted to come through with an update of my fruit cleanse. So I actually stopped at day 98. Yes, day 98. So I was going to go a full 100 days since I already surpassed the 90 days. But at day 98... I just was having crazy cravings for All The Way Live Cafe. That's a raw vegan vegan restaurant here in Philly. And I really wanted some of their uh, sea greens, which is their wakame seaweed. So, I broke down and got some today. <laughs> yeah, so, um, this is how it looks. So, it usually looks prettier than this. So, this is actually the... Um, Seaweed, two things of seaweed, and then the kale. This was $13. Now, I usually uh, get the sauce with it, the red sauce. It comes with a red sauce and a white sauce. I think the white sauce might be cashew cream. Um, I don't know what the red sauce actually is, but the red sauce is really good. But because I don't know what she put in her sauces, I didn't want to put that on my uh, seaweed and kale because... I am still coming from a cleanse and my body is fully detoxed, okay? I did a 98 day fruit cleanse. So what I focused more so on was water fruits, um, the sweeter water fruits. So the sweeter water fruits were melons, grapes, and berries. That's what I mainly ate. I didn't really want to eat any acidic foods. Um, even acidic fruits. So I stayed away from like the tropical fruits, like the mango. Um, I don't eat pineapple, but like I stayed away from the acidic fruits and I, I stick to the high water alkaline fruits, which was the different melons, the um, grapes, the seeded grapes only, as well as the berries. So with the berries, I ate blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And I did strawberries periodically, just because if you eat too many strawberries, you could get some ulcers in your mouth just because they're really, really, um, they are slightly acidic than the other berries. But, um, and then also with the strawberries, you want to eat organic strawberries. So while doing this cleanse anyway, strawberries was scarce. Like it was no strawberries at all. And then the strawberries I did find, they were like sky high, like for the conventional ones, the ones that sprayed with 50 million pesticides. Um, I think those was like, they range from 5 to $8, sometimes $9. And I'm like, oh, no, I only pay for that for organic. And that's still, uh, I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? So I left strawberries alone after, like, probably the first month because I was unable to find organic strawberries. Um, that's not their season, I understand. So that's what I did with that. But I actually tested my urine this morning, and I am pH baby my urine tested at 7.5 pH so I'm like oh 
it's kind of blue <laughs> it's kind of purple <laughs> yo i was so proud of myself because like that just confirmed that like this fruit cleanse was absolutely amazing it alkalized my body and um I've, I've always been raw at least for the last almost two years of my life i've been a raw vegan i said in the summer i may have had some hiccups because i was always on the go and i may have been eating options that wasn't 100 percent alkaline and i don't know what extra hidden items they may have put in the items because they were processed and if you know about processed foods and the fda they only require you to list so many ingredients you don't have to list all the ingredients on your package so that part so with this cleanse i am aiming to basically eat more whole foods once more and that was the purpose of this cleanse to really detox my body and then restart while i was on the cleanse i took my pure minerals daily daily if you don't know i have a business it's roots of life i do sell herbal detox blends as well as multivitamin blends and pure minerals is one of my multivitamin blends i'll put the link for my website below on this video if you wanted to check that out but that's what um i was taking daily on this fruit cleanse and you know of course the benefits of that is absolutely amazing so on this fruit cleanse i felt absolutely amazing i felt full of life full of energy like my nails stay popping like I know like I got this light because you know my videos be dark sometimes but my nails stay popping my skin stay glowing my hair is so long on this uh January I'm sorry in January I stated that I was doing hair wraps all January um and keeping my energy within me and that's why I don't have my hair showing but February is coming up and you'll see it then but my hair has grown like um skin popping nails popping energy is through the roof my third eye is peaking um you know on a spiritual level i have enhanced my mental state i have enhanced so it has been so fulfilling um as far as some of the cons on this is more so the convenient factor like having to always go to the store because you are eating fresh produce and even with the raw diet because excuse me you are eating fresh produce you have to go to the store regularly but with the raw diet I could buy a bunch of different things, make a bunch of different things, probably go to the store every four to five days versus every two, two days, basically. I was at the store. I lived at the store. I know they were tired of seeing me. You know, they probably like, oh, she back. <laughs> but yeah, I really lived at the store. Like, I was at the store all the time. Um, so that part... Also, it got a bit routine -y. So, it was like, because I limited to certain water fruits, it got routine -y as far as, like, what I would make, what I would eat. And, you know, it was hard because I was missing the spices of, like, the different seasoning. Like, I was so used to using cayenne pepper. I was so used to using sea salt. I didn't have any of that for the last 98 days, so I was really missing the spices. So I was just like, oh, <sighs> same old thing, same old thing, same old thing. Yeah, so that part. Um, but um, those was like really my main complaints on the cleanse. Other than that, um, it has been super fulfilling if you do attempt to do a fruit cleanse and even if you don't do it for as long as i did it if you just do it for a brief point of time just make sure you really look into what's your why why you want to do it um also eliminate acidic foods the goal is to become alkaline because once your body is alkaline you don't have to worry about getting sick you know you don't have to worry about different ailments and things like that mucus is going to continue to dissolve from your body like i still unfortunately do have some mucus in my body but that's the mucus membrane in general like i think it could take up to three years for your body to fully detox from the mucus membrane so so you know what i'm saying it's a continuous work it's continuous work so i'm not upset about that but i feel great i haven't got sick at all during this time i'm i'm glowing you know what i mean i don't got nothing on this is just who i am right now so Will I ever do this fruit cleanse again? Yes. 
And I actually think I might do the fruit cleanse when it gets warmer. So like when I have accessibility to like watermelon as well, because that's a whole meal in itself. So I definitely might do the fruit cleanse again come the summertime. Um, what this fruit cleanse has taught me, it has taught me to eat more fruits in my diet. I used to eat a lot of greens, which isn't bad either, but I feel as though the fruits is really nature's candy and is really, um, very beneficial for your body. I did a 30 day juice cleanse before all green veggie juices. I mean, I felt amazing, but this fruit cleanse was like absolutely life changing. So going forward, I am definitely going to add more fruits into my diet. And I'm going to have greens as well, but I'm going to definitely add more fruits into my diet. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. Thank you guys for tuning in. This was brief, but not really. But yeah, I just wanted to get straight to the point. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, I'm cool. I'll answer your questions when I'm able to. I won't leave you hanging. We are all here to grow and heal together, y'all. So let's do this one step at a time. I can be the help, then I'm here to help. And that's how I feel. All right, guys. This is your girl, Crystal Dior. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. And make sure you check out my website, www.rootsoflife123.com. And I also have a spoken word website up. They're all going to be below in my description box. So check me out, guys. It's your girl. Peace. <laughs>